Hi, I'm Sean Martin, President and Founder of Donix Snowboards. One of the things we do quite a bit of here is build unique boards for unique people. Uh, this winter we're going to be providing a weekly update showing some of those uh, unusual projects that we work on and uh, hopefully giving you an idea of what we can do. This particular board here was built for a gentleman in Australia with a size 17 foot and he's very tall. Um, so we built him a 180 with a 29 and a half centimeter waist, uh, over 35 centimeters at the tip and the tail. It's based on our incline or free ride series. It's the kind of board you'd never find in any retail shop, and it's the kind of thing we do just about every week. So um, if you ever need something that's unusual, we're here to do it. Um, this gentleman shows our uh, one of our graphics that are available for this uh, upcoming season. And he did something a little different on the bottom of the board. It's uh, got his name with the Australian flag as the background on a white field. So hopefully what you're going to get from these videos is an idea of what we uh, are capable of and what you might be interested in ordering from us uh, in the future. OK, so I'm just finishing up cleaning these boards up here. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about them. Uh, what I'm demasking right now is a, uh, is a metal free carve. Um, this is a uh, our new construction. We did completely overhaul the construction this spring. Uh, it's more durable. Uh, damper. Um, we've altered the we, we've altered the uh, the decamber shape, which has made a dramatic improvement in how the board uh, feels on snow. It actually feels damper. Um, also feels more engaged, like you're using more of the edge when you're in a turn. Um, and we've altered the flex patterns and stiffnesses a little bit in order to first off, uh, well, we wanted to stiffen them up over last year's and then we've got a flex pattern alteration that makes them uh, a little bit more friendly for a plate system uh, without uh, dramatically impacting uh, the non-plate riders as well. So that's what I have here is a, is a metal free carve. Um, as far as specs and stuff, uh, we'll call it out the same as it was last year, although, like I said, it has a lot of uh, big changes to construction as well as uh, um, decamber shape and flex and that sort of stuff. Uh, one of the other boards I have behind me here is kind of unique. Well, actually, it won't be unique after next season because this is really what our 171 free carve is going to become. Uh, it doesn't look anything like the old free carve. It's got a uh, blunt squared off nose, kind of like a metal board. Um, it is, of course, glass construction. This is a free carve one, so it's got a 18 centimeter waist. Uh, it's got decambered tip and tails, just like a metal board. And a variable side cut from, I believe, 11 to 13. Um, we did some prototyping with that this spring and absolutely loved the way it rode, so we decided we'd incorporate it in the new board. So if you uh, don't have the budget for a metal board or like that glass feel, then you're going to want to go with one of these new babies. Now the other thing you're going to notice is this board has a UPM pattern on it, and it's an 18 centimeter waist. And I've got a plate right here. You can see Yes, our plate will fit on an 18 centimeter waist. And if you're willing to go with a small amount of overhang, you could probably get a 17 and a half centimeter waist to work as well. So there's the new uh, fiberglass free carve. And then what I have here is a custom for a customer down in Australia who was looking for something like a slalom but also like an axis so we took our axis tip and tail shape and uh, what we know about slalom boards and 
uh, sort of pulled them all together. It's also got a decambered tip and tail, just like our metals. Uh, it is a single radius side cut, though. And uh, so that's something we, we can do for just about anybody at no extra charge. If you want to um, mix and match or do something unique or different, um, this is a narrow, much narrower axis, and it's only 160 centimeters long. We also shortened the tip and tail just a little bit because of that decambering. So um, it's, uh, it's got a little more effective edge than a typical 160 axis would have. So that's all the boards for this week, 